Okay, so this video is just a continuation of where we started last time. And uh, we are looking at the 2022 external grade 9 paper, paper 2. And uh, going into section B, the first part of the question says, the set of ordered pairs below shows the corresponding values of x and y. So these are the corresponding values of x and y. We need to find the function that describes the relationship between x and y. So this function is supposed to be expressed in form of an equation. And we are going to use the standard equation which is given by y equals mx plus c. So meaning we need to know the value of m and also the value of c. m is for the gradient which is represented by m equals y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Then c is for the constant value. So from the points given we can choose any two. So I'm going to use the first two points and that is negative 1 comma negative 3 and uh, 0 comma 0. Okay, so this is going to be my x1, then y1, and this is going to be my x2 and y2 in that order. So finding the gradient, we are going to say m is equal to y1, we are going to substitute negative 3, and y2 we have 0, so it will be minus 0 over x1, x1 is negative 1 minus x2 is 0. So m is equal to negative 3 over negative 1 and m is going to be positive 3. So we can now use the value of m and any of the two points to get the value of c. So that means if we go for the first point, we have our y is negative 3 because our m is 3 also then our x is negative 1 so plus c so negative 3 is equal to negative 3 plus c then we shall do the correction of like terms negative 3 and the additive inverse of negative 3 which is positive is equal to c so 0 is equal to c or c is equal to 0 that is that then we shall substitute in the equation which is the standard equation. So y equals mx plus c. We now, when we substitute for m and c, we shall get y equals 3x plus 0, which is simply y equals 3x. This is the function that describes the relationship between x and y. So going into part two of the question, the question says find the value of x if y equals 30. So we already have the function, which is y equals 3x. Now the question is we get the value of x if y is equal to 30. So where there is 30, we, we are going to substitute. So where there is y, we substitute by 30 is equal to 3x. We can divide by the coefficient of x and x is going to be equal to 10 so this is the same as, same as x equals 10 that is for part 2 of the question okay so under question number 3 now we are looking at part b the question says given that the fraction mx minus nx over mn equals 6 make x the subject of the formula so how can we make x the subject of the formula? So we have this given expression, mx minus nx over mn equals 6. So this is a fraction. We can simply make this one as a fraction. And then we do the cross multiplication. Meaning this one is going to multiply what is on top here. And we shall get mx minus nx equal to 6 is going to multiply mn. We get 6 mn. Our interest is to make x the subject of the formula. 
So we can factor it out because it is common on the two parts of the expression. So we are going to have x out, then inside we remain with m minus n is equal to 6, mn. We want to remain with x, so we are going to divide m minus n on both sides, m minus n. So this one and that one divides, we remain with x is equal to 6mn over m minus n. That is for part b. I hope we, we are moving together. So we now go to part c of the question, which says a woman is paid at a basic rate of 36 kwacha 0 0 ngwe per hour, and her overtime rate is time and a quarter. If she worked for 50 hours instead of 40 normal working hours in a certain week, calculate her wage for that week. So how can we calculate the total wage in that week? So first of all, we need to understand that for overtime, for overtime in that particular week where this person worked for 50 hours, so we are going to subtract 40 normal working hours from 50, meaning the overtime was 10 hours. Okay? And then we have been told to say the rate for overtime, it was time and a quarter. So what does that mean? Time per hour, this person was paid 36, 36 quarter and a quarter. So a quarter of 36, 1 over 4 of 36, kwacha. So this will come to 36 plus 1 of 4 of 36 is simply 9 kwacha, which will come to 45 kwacha for that 10 hours, which was the overtime. So we shall simply do 45 kwacha times 10 hours. So this will come to 450. That's what this person was paid for the overtime. I hope we are... Okay, thereafter, we need to know how much this person was paid for our normal wage. So the normal wage, we are told it was 40, 40 hours in a week. And for that 40 hours, this person was paid 36 quarter per, per, per hour. So it will be 40 times 36. You can check that one. And uh, you are supposed to get 1,440 quarter. That's what I got. You can confirm. And then the total wage. The total wage will be we add the two. So for the overtime, this person was paid 450 quarter. Then plus, for the normal wage, this person received 1,440. And when we add the two, we should be able to get a 1,890 kwacha, zero, zero ngwe. Those are the figures which I obtained. You can confirm. Okay, now we are looking at question number four. So this question says solve the inequation two open bracket m minus four close bracket less than four close bracket m plus two. How can we solve? So the idea of solving inequations is similar to how we deal with equations. So we shall open up the brackets by multiplying everything that is outside of the brackets with what is inside. So it will be two times m we get 2m, and 2 times negative 4, we get negative 8, less than 4 times m, we get 4m, then 4 times positive 2, we get positive 8. So we understand that uh, from 2m, we cannot subtract 8. So it will now be the correction of like terms, which is 2m and negative 4m, which is the additive inverse of positive 4m, it's going to be less than positive 8. The additive inverse of negative 8, which is again positive 8. From there, 
to be negative 2m less than 16 when we add the 2. Our interest is to get the value of m, so we are going to divide on both sides with negative 2. So this one and that one goes, we remain with m, and the moment we divide by a negative number, the sign is going to change. So from less than, we are going to have greater than negative 2 into 16, we are going to have negative 8. That is on 4a. Then part B says on the x or y plane, which is indicated down here, we need to plot the points R, S, and T. So the first point R is negative 4, comma 1. So negative 4 in the x-axis is here, comma 1. So we are going to have that point there for R, negative 4, comma 1. The other one is S, which is positive 4, comma 1. It's going to be there. The other one is 0, comma 4. It's going to be there. Then joining the points R, S, T, we can use a rule. We are going to join them like this. This is what we are going to do. You can use a rule to do that. And then part 3 says draw the line, the graph, x equals 5. So x equals 5, we go where x is. That is where we are going to draw the line using a rule. So you can get a rule and then make a straight line through where x equals 5. And then you indicate x equals 5, a straight line for that matter. And then we can quickly go to C. And uh, this is what we, we are going to have.